any set of numbers which is arranged in an order which has a definite rule that we call it as a sequence tn equals 81 so what is the tn formula a plus n minus 1 into d so instead of writing tn the last term i am writing 13 equals a plus n minus 1 into d Hello everyone, I am Purnima of faculty in the Department of Commerce and Management, Vidya Ashram First Rate College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. I welcome you all to this program. Now, in this session relating to progressions, let us have a look at the what are the different terms used in progressions. Now, the first term is sequence. What do we mean by sequence? Now let us understand what is the meaning of the word sequence. Now a set of numbers, a set of numbers arranged in an order. So what is the sequence? A set of numbers arranged in an order. Okay, now whenever we speak of progressions, we think about a set of numbers. Now let us understand what is the meaning of the word sequence. A sequence is a set of numbers arranged in an order formed according to a definite rule. So any set of numbers which is arranged in an order which has a definite rule that we call it as a sequence. Now for example, for example I write 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So what is the rule followed here? This is a set of even numbers. Okay, suppose I write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this will be a set of natural numbers. Okay, so we know what is a sequence. A sequence is a set of numbers arranged in an order formed according to a definite rule so that we call it as a sequence. Now let us understand what is the meaning of the word series. What do we mean by series? Now what do we mean by series? Uh, the sum of the terms of a sequence is called series. So we know what is the meaning of the word sequence and what is the meaning of the word series. Now in this series we have three types of series. Now what are they? One is the arithmetic progression. Next one is the geometric progression. Third one is the harmonic progression. So we know what is sequence and what is series. Now let us understand what is the meaning of the word arithmetic progression. So an arithmetic progression is a sequence in which the differences between a term and its preceding term is constant. So an arithmetic term is a sequence. Sequence means it is a orderly set of numbers. So it is a set of numbers arranged as per a particular rule. So where the common difference is constant and the constant is known as the common difference and it is denoted by D. Now suppose for example I write 1, 5, 9, 13 etc. So this is an arithmetic progression where the first term of the series A is called as the first term 
first term of the series. So, in this series, the first term is 1 and the D. What is D? Any number and the preceding number. So, 5 minus 1. So, this is equal to 4. So, where the, the term and its preceding terms are constant. So, 5 minus 1 is 4. 9, 9 minus 5 is 4. 13 minus 9 is 4. So, in this order, if you see A equals first term equals 1 and D equals 5 minus 1 equals 4. So, we should understand that an arithmetic progression is a sequence of numbers with a constant difference or a common difference which is constant. Okay, the first term is denoted by A. N denotes the number of terms in the series. So, N means how many terms are there in the series and Tn denotes the nth term. Sn denotes the sum to n terms of a AP. So, suppose I have to add 1 plus 5 plus 4 plus 9 plus 13 plus 17 plus 21. So, in this way, if I have to add, it will take a very long time. So, for that, we have a different formula in this progressions. Now, before going to the formula of the sum of the terms, let us understand this Tn. Now, what is this Tn? So, Tn means the nth term of the series. So, in the nth term of the series, we have the formula Tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d. So, the nth term equals a is the first term plus n minus 1 into d. So, we get the nth term. Then, we have this formula here. Now, what is this formula? Sn equals n by 2 into a plus l. So, here Sn means the sum of the terms. Suppose I write 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus 16. So, I want an addition of all these terms. So, I will use this formula. So, number of terms 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, I will write S8 equals 8 by 2 into A. A is 2. What is the last term? 16. So, I have to find out the value of the sum of these terms in the series. 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus 16. Now, Sn equals n by 2 into a plus l. So, S8 will be 8 by 2 into 2 plus 16. So, S8 will be 4 into 18. So, S8 will be 4 8s are 32, 2 3, 4 1s are 4, 5 6 7. 72 is the answer to the this arithmetic progression. Now, next we have Sn equals n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So, there are two formulas here to find out the sum of the APs and we also have one formula to find out the nth term of the AP. Now, with the help of these formulas, let us work out a few problems. Now, let us see what is the next problem. So, problem is find the 12th term of the AP 1, 4, 7. Now, uh, let me write the general form of AP. General form of AP equals A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, etc. Okay. So, what is A here? A equals 1. What is D? D equals 4 minus 1 that is 3. So, we know A, we know 3. Now, they have asked us what is the 12th term of the AP. Now, the 12th term of the AP will be T12. So, I have to use the formula Tn. Tn equals A plus N minus 1 into D formula. So, instead of n, I will write 12. So, t12 equals 1 plus 12 minus 1 into 3. So, the 12th term will be 1 plus 11 into 3. So, t12 will be 1 plus 33 that is equal to 
34 or t12 equals 34 so when you keep on writing all this 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 3 uh, is 10 10 plus 3 is 13 you keep on adding so the 12th term what you get will be 34 next the 13th term of the ap 1 by 3 2 by 3 and 1 now the general form general form of the ap is a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d etc now what is a here a equals 1 by 3 d equals 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 that is 1 by 3 so the common difference is 1 by 3 now we have to find the 13th term so tn formula tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d so t 13 will be 1 by 3 plus 13 minus 1 into 1 by 3 so t 13 will be 1 by 3 plus 13 minus 1 is 12 by 3 So t thirteen will be one by three plus twelve by three. That is thirteen by three. So t thirteen equals thirteen by three is the answer. Okay. So the thirteenth term of the series is thirteen by three. Now the next one. Find the twentieth term of the AP minus two minus five minus eight. now i'll write the general form equals a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d and so on now a equals minus 2 d will be equal to minus 5 minus of minus 2 so minus 5 plus 2 that is minus 3 So d equals minus three. Now we have to find the twentieth term. So t n formula equals a plus n minus one into d. So t twenty equals minus two plus twenty minus one into minus three. So t twenty will be equal to minus two. Plus nineteen into minus three, so t twenty will be minus two minus nineteen three is a fifty seven. So t twenty will be equal to minus fifty nine. So t n formula t n equals a plus n minus one into d t twenty twentieth term so n is twenty so minus two plus twenty minus one into minus three so minus two plus nineteen into three so minus fifty seven so minus fifty nine is the answer. now we have the tn formula a plus n minus 1 into d t10 will be equal to 0.5 plus 10 minus 1 into 0.2 so 0.5 plus 9 into 0.2 so t10 will be equal to 0.5 plus 9 into 0.2 into 992s are 18 so 1.8 so 1.8 plus 0.5 so 8 plus 5 is 13 2.3 so t10 will be equal to 2.3 is the answer okay now 
the next term. Find the 16th term of the progression 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, now the general form is equal to a, a plus d, a plus 2d, a plus 3d and so on. Now a equals 2, d equals 4 minus 2 that is a 2. Now tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d. So t 16 will be 2 plus 16 minus 1 into 2. T 16 will be 2 plus 15 into 2. So T 16 will be 2 plus 30. That is 32 is the answer. Now the next one. Which term of the progression 1, 4, 7, 10 is 94. Now they have given us the 94 and they have asked us what is the nth value of this term. Now, now this is of the form a, a plus d, a plus 2d, a plus 3d, so on. Now what is a here? a equals 1, d equals 4 minus 1 that is 3. Now they have asked, they have given us the term and they have asked us the f, find the value of n. So we don't know what is the nth value. So Tn equals 94. So we will just write the formula here. So this will be Tn will be equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So we know a, a is 1. N we don't know, N minus 1, D equals 3. So, 94 equals 1 plus 3N minus 3. So, 94 equals minus 3 plus 1, that will be minus 2 plus 3N. So, 94, I bring it to the right, left hand side of the equation. So, equals 3n, 96 equals 3n, n equals 96 by 3, that is 32. So, 3 threes are 9, 3 twos are 6. So, n is 32. So, 94 is the 32nd term of the equation. It is the 32nd term of the equation. Now, next equation, next problem is 81, a term of the series sequence 1, 4, 7, 10, 13. Now, what is A here? A equals 1. D equals 4 minus 1, that is 3. Now, what is the given term? Tn equals 81. So, what is the Tn formula? A plus n minus 1 into D. So, A plus n minus 1 into D. So, what is A? 1. So, we don't know n minus 1 into D equals 81. So, 81 will be 1 plus 3n minus 3. Now, 81 will be minus 2 plus 3n. So, 81 plus 2 will be equal to 3n. 83 equals 3n. n equals 83 by 3. So, we are getting a fraction here. So, 3 twos are 6. 3 sevens are 21, then again 3 six are some points we are getting. So, since we have to write the conclusion here, so I will write here, since n is a fraction, the number 81 does not belong to the series. So, there cannot be any fractions in the nth term. So, we assume that 81 is not a part of this series. Then, 
Next term, how many terms are there in the sequence 9, 6, 3, 0, minus 3 up to minus 75? Now, we write A equals 9, D equals 6 minus 9, that is 3. Now, they have given us the Tn here. So, the last term. How many terms are there in the sequence? So, Tn equals minus 75 equals A plus N minus 1 into D. So, 9 minus N minus 1 into 3. So, 9 plus 3N minus 3. So, minus 75. Then, we will simplify this minus 75 equals. So, 9 minus 3 is 6 plus 3n. So, minus 75 minus 6 equals 3n. So, I am bringing the 6 to the left hand side of the equation. So, minus 75 minus 6 is minus 81 equals 3n. n will be equal to minus 81 divided by 3. So, 27 terms. So, we should understand that how many terms are there in the series. So, n is equal to 27. So, minus 75 equals a plus n minus 1 into d. So, minus 75 equals 9 plus 3n minus 3. Minus 75 equals 9 minus 3 is 6 plus 3n. So, you bring the 6 to the left hand side. So, minus 75 minus 6 will be minus 81 equals 3n. So, minus 81 by 3 is 27th term. So, this is the 27th term of this progression. Now, the third term of an AP is 25 and the 10th term is minus 3. Find the first term and the common difference. Now, we will see what is given. T3. T3 equals 25. That is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. So, that will be A plus 2D. 25 equals A plus 2D. Now, they have also given the 10th term is minus 3. So, T10 equals minus 3. So, that will be minus 3 equals a plus 9d. Now, we will write this again here. Equation 1, equation 2. So, equation 1 and 2, I write a plus 2d equals 25. Then, a plus 9d equals minus 3. Now, I will deduct all the terms in this equation. I will write minus, minus, plus. So, A and A gets cancelled. So, minus D plus 2D minus 7D. Minus 7D equals 28. D equals 28 by minus 7. So, D equals minus 4 is the answer. Now, we have to find the first term. So, D is the common difference and we got the common difference as minus 4. Now, we substitute in this equation. Substitute, substitute D equals minus 4 in 1. So, in the equation 1, what do I have? A plus 2D equals 25. A plus 2 into minus 4 equals 25. So, A plus 4 to the minus 8 equals 25. A equals 25 plus 8. A equals 33 is the answer. 
So a plus 2d equals 25. a plus 2 into minus 4. So 2 into minus 4 is minus 8. So minus 8, I bring it to the right hand side of the equation. So 25 plus 8. So 25 plus 8 is 33. We can see a equals 33. So a equals 33. This is the first term. And here we have minus 4. So this is the common difference. So we have this problem here. Now the next problem, the sum of the series in the AP is 40 and the common difference is 2 and the last term is 13. Find the first term and the number of terms. Now we have the problem here, the sum of the series in AP is 40 and CD is 2 and the last term is 13. Find the first term and the number of the terms. Now what is given? Given SN equals 40, D equals 2, L equals 13. We have to find A equals how much, N equals how much. We don't know A, we don't know N. Now, we know TN formula, TN equals A plus N minus 1 into D. Now, TN equals A plus N minus 1 into D. And we also know that the last term is 13. So, instead of writing TN, I'll write 13 equals A plus n minus 1 into 2. So, we have the Tn formula. Tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d. So, instead of writing Tn, the last term I am writing 13 equals a plus n minus 1 into d. So, 13 will be equal to a plus 2n minus 2. So, 13 plus 2 equals a plus 2n. So, 15 minus a equals 2n, n will be equal to 15 minus a divided by 2. Okay, so n equals 15 minus a divided by 2. Now they have given us the sum of the n terms. So I will write the formula for this. So Sn formula will be n by 2 into a plus l. Okay, so this will be, we know the value of n is 15 minus a divided by 2 whole 2 into a plus 13. So this will be, Sn is also given 40 equals 15 minus a by 4 into a plus 13. So cross multiplication, so 160 will be equal to 15 minus a into a plus 13. So 160 will be equal to 15a minus a square plus 195 minus 13a. So 160 will be 15a minus 13a minus a square plus 195. Now, when we simplify this further, I will get the equation as minus a square plus 2a. Then, if I bring the 160 to the right hand side of the equation, I get 35 plus 35 equals 0. Now, I am uh, multiplying it by minus. So, a square minus 2a minus 35 equals 0. So, we have a quadratic equation. So, 7 fives are 35. So, a square minus 2a minus 35 equals 0. So, I will write it as a square minus 7a plus 5a minus 35 equals 0. So, a is common a minus 7 plus 5 is common, a minus 7 equals 0. So, a minus 7 into a plus 5 equals 0. So, a will be equal to 7 
or a will be equal to minus 5. So, this is the answer. So, we with the help of a equals minus 5, we will find the value of n. So, n will be equal to 15 minus of minus 5 divided by 2. So, n will be 15 plus 5 divided by 2 that is 20 divided by 2 that is 10. So, n is 10 when a is minus 5. Now, when a is 7, suppose a is 7, n will be equal to 15 minus 7 divided by 2. n will be 8 divided by 2 that is 4. So, we have two values here. So, a equals 7 and a equals minus 5. So, when a equals minus 5, the number of terms in the problem in the given progression is 10. So, when the a is 7, so the number of terms will be 4 in this particular progression. The ratio of the 7th to the 3rd term of an AP is 12 is to 5. Find the ratio of 13th to the 4th term. Now, what is given here? The ratio of the 7th to the 13th term of the AP is 12 minus 5. Now, we will write let A be the first term and D is the common difference. Now, what they have given? The ratio of the seventh term and the third term. Now, suppose T7 will be equal to A plus 6D. Okay. Now, the third term. What is the third term? T3 will be A plus 2D. Now, the ratio of the seventh term and the third term is 12 is to 5. So, we will write a plus 6d is to a plus 2d is as to 12 is to 5. Now, we will multiply these two and these two terms. So, 12 into a plus 2d equals 5 into a plus 6d. Okay. So, 12 into a is 12a plus 12 to are 24d equals 5a plus 30d. Next, 12a minus 5a equals 30d minus 24d. So, 12 minus 5 is 7a equals 6d. So, 7a equals 6d is what we have found out or a equals 6d by 7 or a is to d is equal to 6 is to 7. Okay, we will find out this. So, what is given? The ratio of the seventh term and the third term. So, t7 equals a plus 6d then t3 equals a plus 2d. Now a plus 6d a plus 2d is as to 12 is to 5. Now we multiply these two values. So 5 into a plus 6d equals 12 into a plus 2d. So, 5a plus 30d equals 12a plus 24d. So, 5 into a, 5a, 5 into 6, 30d. Then, 12 into a, 12a, 12 into 2, 24d. Now, uh, I'll bring the 30d minus 24d equals 12a minus 5a. So, 6D equals 7A 
or a will be equal to 6 by 7. 6d by 7 or I can also write a is to d equals 6 is to 7. So we know the ratio of a is to d but we don't know the exact value. So I will write multiply by a common k. So one common factor k I have taken. So a is to d equals 6k is to 7k. Now what is the next part of the question? Find the ratio of 13 and the fourth term. So we want the 13th term. So t13 will be a plus 12d and t4 will be a plus 3d. So we know what is the value of a. So instead of a, I'll write 6k plus 12 into 7k is as so the ratio is again 6k plus 3 into 7k. Now 6k plus 12 7 84k is as to 6k plus 21k. So 84k plus 6 will be 90k is as to 21 plus 6 is 27k. So we have 90k is to 27k. So we divide by 9. So this will be 10k is to 3k or 10 is to 3 is the ratio of the 13th term and the 4th term. Now if 5 times the 5th term of an AP is 19 times the 19th term Prove that the 24th term of an AP is 0. Now what is given? Given 5 times 5 into T5 equals 19 into T19. So what we have to prove? We have to prove that T24 equals 0. Okay, so T5 T5 equals 19 into T19. So 5 T5 equals, so what is the T5 formula, Tn formula we have to use. So this will be A plus 4D into 5. A plus 4D into 5. So Tn formula I am using here. So a plus n minus 1 into d. So a plus 4d into 5. Then 19 t 19 will be equal to 19 into a plus 18 d. Okay. So, so we should simplify. We should uh, bring it to the equation. So 5a plus 20d equals 19a plus 18d. So we have an equation here. When I multiply this, 5 into a, 5a, 5 into 4, 20d. 19 into a, 19a, plus 19 into 18. So what is the answer? 19 into 18 will be 342d. So 5a plus 20d equals 19a plus 342d. Okay. Now what I will do is I will bring this a this side. So 5a minus 19a equals 342d minus 20d. So, so 5a 19a minus 5a will be minus 14a will be equal to 322d. Or A will be equal to 322D divided by 14. Now, is this 322 divisible by 4? So, 322D divided by 14. So, this will be minus 23. So, A is equal to minus 23. Now, we substitute the value of A in 1. 
Now we know that a equals minus 23. Now we want the value of t24. So t24 equals a plus 23d. So a is minus 23 plus 23 into. So t24 equals a plus 23d. So we know they have told us t24 is 0. 0 equals minus 23 plus 23d. So this is equal to 0. So the this is the proof. Next, we have to prove that t24 is 0. t24 equals a plus 23d. 0 equals minus 23 plus 23d. So this is the proof. With this, we come to the end of this session. Hope you have understood these problems on progressions. Thank you.